Researchers have made the rather distressing discovery that there is an awful lot of plastic in our brains. Nobody really knows what it's going to do to us, but it could increase the likelihood of heart attacks and strokes. They seem to form these little sharp plaques there. This is not entirely surprising. We have known for some time that plastics were accumulating in our bodies. Plastics are essentially inert to our bodies. We don't break them down. We have seen some harmful effects of plastic, such as disruption of hormones. One of the things that this reminded me of was silicon. Also makes up a huge amount of our planet, but we don't do anything with it in our bodies. So does it accumulate? Turns out, yes, it can be harmful for your lungs and it may actually make your bones stronger. Maybe that's still pretty controversial. It doesn't, however, accumulate in our brains the way that plastic does. There's a visual. Now, plastic for our planet is still relatively new. Plastic exists on our planet because of cyanobacteria. Ancient algae did not end up getting broken down by other microbes and ended up just getting layered into sediment. When it degraded, it became oil. Also, trees. The reason we have coal is because trees existed before bacteria evolved to eat them. So there is a period in our history where trees were just falling in the woods and then layering and layering and layering onto each other. When organic matter is broken down in the elements rather than in the body of a microbe, it ends up becoming what we know as petroleum. A similar thing happens on the tops of mountains as greenery decays, but it's still not very friendly to other creatures. Interestingly, wood does share some similarities with plastics. And you may have realized it, it's why we can have wood in our homes. Even if it's not treated, it doesn't break down immediately. It takes some work on behalf of the microbes. There are, however, microbes that are evolving to eat plastic right now. I don't know about you, but the concept of having plastic shards in my brain is not very comfortable. There have been a number of suggestions from people on how to consume less plastic. I don't know how consequential it's going to be considering I'm sitting in my office right now and there's plastic everywhere, but here they are. It's been suggested not to cook food in the microwave in plastic containers, to roll with glass or ceramics. It's being recommended not to buy plastic polymers in your clothing or objects around your house like carpet. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing plastic right now. Vacuum regularly or use an air purifier. I really, I, I really don't think that's going to do anything. And avoid plastic cookware in general. You know, this is only going to be meaningful if you live in the woods. There is plastic everywhere in everything that we do. This is the bandage that might make some people feel better, like people who eat only organic food. I work in agriculture. Organic means nothing. So yeah, our brains are full of plastic shards, and we still don't know what the long-term consequences are or if this could be related to upticks in dementia. The flip side of that is that if you're like me and you suffer from things like depression and anxiety, you can just blame your brain plastic on it. That's what I'm going to do. How about you?